I am freezing to death. Vex! You said I would die in a fire, not freeze to death. What's wrong with you? Hey guys and gals, Pauly Jr. here, and welcome to Minecraft Super Hostile Map Isolation with a C. That's I C E O Lation by Vex. This is his latest and greatest concoction a survival map, a capture, uh, complete the monument map that is designed essentially to kill you. That is Vex's primary objective, is to see you die in a fire. That was his favorite motto back in the day. And uh, I've played very many of these over the years. He started this whole genre back in 2011. And I've played maybe four or five of his uh, super hostile maps, which are indeed super hostile and very perilous, but also a lot of fun. And this one, he just just came out very recently. Um, I didn't know much about it, but yeah, there it is, Isolation. And we're going to jump in and play. This is for Minecraft 1.12.2. And I will put a link down below to the Vex Super Hostile Maps website. And you can check this one out along with all of his other ones, the old ones that are a whole lot of fun. And they're still very relevant, so check them out if you, uh, you want to die in a fire. Which hopefully we don't do in this one. I, I have a feeling this is not there's not gonna be a lot of fire here, but with the name of isolation, my guess is it's gonna be really cold. So I think I gotta press this button right here. Oh, oh, something's happening. Ow. <laughs> okay, that hurt. It looks like it is snowing. Is that us right there? Oh yeah. Hi. Uh, that's my backside. Let's turn around. Hello. Wait a second. There was something there to read. Uh, let's bring the chat window back up. Your game mode has been updated to survival mode. Well, we were already in survival mode. It was just another typical cargo run. Another day, another paycheck. Your airship creaked as it steadily crept over the frozen ocean below. The large craft hauling tons of chests. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I can see. <laughs> Managing a stately pace. Then a freak storm swirled around you. Knocked off course, you tried in vain to steer to safety, but your ship clipped the side of an ice bike, damaging an engine. Your craft trailing smoke, the last thing you remember was the trill of a warning chime and the swirling, stinging hail on your face. You awaken amongst the wreckage in some long-forgotten glacier, and a sense of dread overwhelms you. Welcome to your isolation. Dun 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 with a C. So that's ice olation. Oh, that's the hole we made. Unless that hole was already here. <laughs> There's some kind of platforms or something up there too. Yeah, this is a big glacier. We crashed here with our ship apparently. And I, I guess this is all bits and pieces of our ship, which was a cargo ship. Uh, well, there's a hole over there. I have a feeling that's the fun path. I will explain what the fun path is momentarily. But I think we got to get indoors. There's a temperature system. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so press tab. Check your temperature. Eight. Our temperature is eight. What does that mean? Does it go up or down? Oh, it's dropping. It's dropping. Now we're in the negatives. I don't think that's... Uh, cel oh, no, it's not. It's not Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's its own system. It goes down to 1,000, negative 1,000, and up to 1,000. So zero temp is the most comfortable. And negative uh, 1,000 and 1,000 are both deadly. So, yeah, freeze to death or burn to death. Fantastic. And it's dropping pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, 10. We're losing 10 temperature uh, per tick. Wear armor to protect yourself. The more armor points, the better. Locate uh, isolation temps are ambient negative 700 and water is negative 800 so stay out of the water stay out of the cold and warm up if you can um, oh chest oh yeah 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 so armor points will reduce the cold temperature drop right so we have one armor four six seven armor so let's see does that mean our arm our temperature is going to drop slower by seven maybe I don't know Let's throw everything in here in the pockets. Is uh, well, oak wood slab. I guess we can burn as wood. Although you know what, there's a lot of wood around. I already noticed. Leather. We already have leather. We don't need any more clothing. I think that other leather there is for a partner. If you play this multiplayer, which we are clearly not doing today, we have no friends. But I do have a clock and a compass and a bed, um, and no one to share it with. Sad. Um, well, all right, coal's good. We got some oak. We got some cobble all right so let's look at this we have a, an anvil here too let's go ahead and make some tools because we got to go make tools and start grabbing supplies which um we can do in this it's not this these kind of adventure games are really their survival this is a survival it's a survival um it's a survival map first and foremost so you can play this game any way that you play normal minecraft survival so we can go outside 
and make a mess of things. We can mine through walls. We want to get to a particular place. We can take anything. We can smash stuff. It's how it's just how it basically normal Minecraft. Like we can take all this, no big deal. Um, however, I don't know if we want that right now. We might use this as a shelter. Although we're probably gonna go in that hole, huh? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go check out this weird contraption over here because it looks like it might be part of the engine. We hit the iceberg, iceberg, ice thingy. Yeah. All right, we've got a piston here. Oh, what's this? Skymaster 200 airship engine by AirTech Corporation. Still functioning. Wow. Man, they know how to make an engine, don't they? Fueling port. Danger. Turn engine off when refueling. <laughs> okay. It might explode. How do we turn this dang thing off? Oh, there's a hopper here. Oh, 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 grab it. Coal. We've got a block of coal. Thank goodness. All right. So we can make more torches. And we got stone here, too. Can we get in here? Yeah, this stone's going to come in handy because we make better stone tools, right? Oh, they, there we go. Let's grab that guy. And we have a furnace. Nice. We're taking everything, remember? Take the piston, sticky piston, and take that, um, what is that, prismarine crystals. We'll take the hopper as well. Never know when a hopper might come in handy, but we really, really mostly are after the stone so we can make, start making some stone tools. And we'll grab it all, all that we can. Then we're going to probably get out of here. Another hopper. Ow! Yep, didn't see that coming. Uh, probably going to want some of this wood as well. Oh, gosh, I'm getting hungry. Um, hold on. Temperature's down to 177 now. <laughs> I think that's bad. It is dropping pretty fast, isn't it? All right, well, let's grab all of the, the stone before we head out, because this could be the only stone for a while. Sorry about that engine, Vex. It was a lovely thing, but we're going to need it more. So, yeah, all right, let's... Uh, Grab some of the wood here, too. We only have a wooden axe right now. I'm going to grab a couple of bits, and then we'll go back into the shelter and make a stone axe. Oh, don't forget that little stone right there. And what is this? That looks like... Is that coal? Is that a chunk of coal? It's a block of coal. Sweet! All right, so that could be fuel. Might need that for something eventually, right? Probably to spark up an engine or a furnace. There's some more right here. I think there's a lot of coal here. That could be good. And more here as well. Yeah, I think we can um, burn things in a furnace and, and generate heat. And that'll help. We're down to 237. My gosh. This is bad. This is bad, peeps. We gotta we gotta find a um we need to find a place that's warm or a way to generate heat or what have you. Um why don't we do that right now? I'm just out of curiosity, let's put this down. And we'll put a little coal in here. I don't have much to burn though, do we? Uh, in fact, I don't have anything to burn right now. Mm, yeah, I don't have anything to burn, so I guess that's not going to work. We need to go find some logs or some food or something. Let's just take everything. We have a complement of tools. Yeah, we got to roll. I have a feeling there's going to be some place to go that's going to be a little safer and warmer at some point. In fact, usually will provide that kind of stuff off the bat, but I think we might want to grab some more of this wood first. Oh, that's not what we want. I want the big chunks. Big chunks! Get the big chunks. Big wood. We need big wood. This is the big wood. And we might want to look around here, too, and see what's about. Might be some hidden goodies. Vex is notorious for hiding things. He also puts things in plain sight sometimes. <laughs> and you got to figure out how to get to it. All right, 26 wooden planks. That's good. Let's have a look around and see what we can find. Oh, here's wood logs. Yes, we can burn these. Fantastic. And we can test our theory with um, oh, there's a whole bunch of logs here. Now we got a bunch of snowballs. I'm not sure if we're going to need snowballs. Maybe we can build a nice igloo to live in. That would be kind of cool. I wonder how warm an igloo is. All right. Uh, oh, man, I'm getting hungry. I think we're we're hitting our status effects now. Yeah, hunger and slowness due to the cold. That's not good. Uh, what is this over here? This looks very suspicious. I knew it. Oh, food. We got raw mutton, baby. And we got chain leggings. Plus four armor. Plus three for the gold. That's better than the leather. Ooh, yeah. Let's, uh, I don't think we're going to need that or that or that. Yeah, let's put on those leggings. Plus four armor. That's a little warmer, right? Yes. So now we have, or we have four and a half armor points. So we're losing. How much heat are we losing now? <laughs> yeah, we're still losing a few points here. All right. 
Let's keep looking. Keep looking. Oh, here's another chest with a bunch of apples and prismarine bricks. Really, I guess we can use those for like bridging and stuff. You know, here's some more wood. I'm just gonna grab as much as we can before we go. It's just a good idea to have it. And again, we can burn it down, turn it into charcoal later if need be. Just wanna see if there's any more chests around. Here's some more wood. Forget about it though, we don't really have time. This looks very suspicious as well. Some of these big uh, chunks of snow. Coal. Ice down there. Okay. I think we should go. Freezing to death here. So we have some goodies to get started with. And my guess is this is the way out. So let's get prepared. There's usually lots of monsters in super hostile maps. Got some glowstone here. So I wonder, is this the packed ice? I don't think this ice will melt. This ice doesn't melt, so it's the packed stuff, right? Packed and blue does not melt. So I wonder if glowstone gives off any heat. Oh, I think it does. So that's pretty cool. I like the way he worked that the system into the game. So this reminds me a lot of, um, well, the long dark. <laughs> we need clothing. There's a hole over there. And fire to stay warm and cozy. Otherwise, we're going to die, right? Nothing there. Oh, there's a chest. Is that a chest? Yes, there's a chest over there. I think we should go get it. And we can probably just... Well, we can... Maybe we can dig through the ice. Or we could build a bridge across and grab that still feel like, I mean, we're losing temperature here fast. I don't like that at all. Definitely don't want to fall down. Oh, you know what? That um, slowness keeps messing me up here. It's messing me up. Huh? That effect keeps popping on and off every few seconds. And I feel like it's going to make me fall. All right, we made it. So that's what the prismarine is for. Woohoo! All right. Let's go check out this chest. Nothing over here. Uh, oh, we got cakes. That's good. Food is good. We got some go uh, golden apples. Very nice. Get rid of the snowballs. I don't think we need the size of the wooden axe. Grab some carrots. We got some raw fish. Great. This is great. We got food. And we have a whole bunch of shields. Let's put one shield in for now. And what else can we get rid of? Compass is kind of uh, useless, right? Um, we'll hold on to it just in case. There's more snowballs. Let's grab that shield. And I'm also thinking of, uh, well, we can make a chest later. All right, let's go down this tunnel. See what's down here. I think we should take some of the, uh, I think we should take some of the glowstone, to be honest. Because we can make, maybe make like a floor of glowstone, because it does provide heat. Seems like it. So we can make a shelter, and the whole floor can be made out of glowstone. Though they do provide light as well. I don't see any monsters around, which is kind of interesting. Oh, this is a survival knife. Yeah, Vex loves to name things. Old short bow, survival knife. <laughs> okay. Well, we need a proper weapon, not a survival knife. Yeah, we really need to warm up. We're down to minus 544. So we've got to find some kind of a shelter or build a shelter. Oh, here we go. What is this all about? Um... Well, let's go across here and see what this way is. I'm already kind of lost. I wonder if we can go down there. All right. And watch your step, because it's so dang slippery. <laughs> All right, now we're moving. I'm going to grab some of this. Grab a few of those every time we have uh, multiples near each other. Seems to make sense. Still so dark, but no no monsters. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. First hunger bar. There it goes. Hardtack ration. I thought it was bread. It's hardtack ration. Oh, all right. Something up ahead. Something up ahead. Oh, that's my bridge. <laughs> we went around in a circle. We went around in a circle. All right. Then I guess that means we have to go down. I don't think we're getting down there. Let's go back. There was another tunnel. Whoa! What was that? Something in there. Yeah, there was another way down. 
here. Hopefully we can um, get rid of that status effect because it's driving me crazy that I keep zooming in and out. I think once we get enough clothing to combat that cold, that should go away. Oh, man, the slipping and sliding around here is crazy. Yeah, this goes down. I think down is good in this case. Grab some more glowstone. Now, this looks like an awful lot of snow. Aha! I see you down there. A chest of goodies. Holy smokes, look at all this. This is crazy. Enchanted books. Protection, smite, protection, lapis. Oh, boy. Um, okay, let's get rid of some of the stuff I don't think I'm going to need, like the golden leggings. Uh, oh, look at that. Arrow of harming instant damage. That's really nice. All right, let's grab the books. One, two, three, four, five... Enchanted books. We're going to need that lapis as well, I bet. So how about... Oh, boy. I don't want to get rid of the bed because we might need... I'll get rid of the sticky piston. We can always come back. You can always come back if need be. And the crafting table. We can make a crafting table because we have plenty of wood. All right. That's good. Wow. Already already shuffling inventory around. So that's... That was... Ow! Oh! Oh, it's cold! It's so cold! Freezing to death. we got to get out of here. You can't stand in the cold. Oh, my gosh. Is that what that was? Just cold? Standing on the snow? All right. Don't stand on the snow. Oh, wow. That was cold. And I'm still... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. What's going on here? I am freezing to death. Vex! You said I would die in a fire. Not freeze to death. What's wrong with you? Oh, my gosh. Um, um, where's glowstone? Quickly now, get to the glowstone. Here's the glowstone over here. I think if we stand next to the glowstone, we might be able to warm up a little bit. All right, stand on the glowstone. On the glowstone, on the glowstone. And give me a torch. Stop, stop killing me. How about multiple torches or maybe a furnace? Let's, uh, we're going to have to maybe cook up some of this wood. Let's see if that helps. Oh man, eat, eat the heart attack. Holy cow. Let's check that temp. 640. 613, okay. It's working. We're warming up by the fire. That's really cool. But it's taking a very long time. <laughs> and we don't have much to burn. Oh my gosh. Um, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna have to make a run for it. But I don't know where to run. Did you guys see any other tunnels or any other way to go? Oh, boy. We're going to have to burn all of our wood, aren't we? Okay, we're at 505 right now. Okay, let's warm up as much as we can, and then we're going to make a run for it. We're at negative 339, and the temps are climbing. Oh, gosh. Keep burning, keep burning, keep burning. I want to get a little higher than that. If we can get back to zero, we'll have another maybe 10 or 15 minutes to, uh, to explore. But yeah, apparently you can't stand around messing with your inventory, especially standing on snow. I think I think it does matter what you're standing on. So we have to keep an eye on that. And this is it for the wood. Oh gosh, don't... Uh, you know what? We shouldn't burn... Oh, we have we have a little bit of wood down here too. Um, all right, we gotta go. Right, let, let's burn the rest of that wood, I suppose. And I will just use the coal to make a bunch of torches. All right, this is it. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let's go. I'm going to break that down. That could be a very bad idea. <laughs> All right. So we have one spot left for our furnace. Let's grab it. And I'll grab these torches back. I'm going to need them all. Okay. Now, I don't remember which way we even came from. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for... A way down. Oh, here we go. Does that go down? Oh, that goes down! Right there! Aha! I did not see that until now. And run across we go. Yes. Very good. How's our temperatures looking? Oh, look at that. We almost got back to zero. Just from sitting by that furnace. So that was very nice. So it's probably a good idea to carry a furnace around as we, uh, as we explore the area, right? Just in case. But we're going to need more stuff to burn. Oh, I could have burned the, the raw mutton, right? That's the thing about these furnaces in Minecraft is you can't just put fuel in it. Um, you have to be, you have to cook something 
or smelt something, right? That is, that's a dead end. Okay. Go down this way, nice and careful like. But yeah, that cold is brutal. Holy smokes. At least we're not losing temperature as quickly as we were before because we do have this clothing on and that's helping. But we're going to have to, um, we're clearly going to have to find better gear, better clothes, warmer gear. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. And we need to make, um, we need to make a shelter, but I'm just wondering if there's a shelter already made somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where to go. So I guess we could make a shelter somewhere and just hunker down inside. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are definitely in a glacier and it is cold down here. Here's a weird looking tunnel. That looks man-made, doesn't it? Oh, and a chest. Make sure there's no traps here. I don't trust Vex. I don't trust him in the least. Let's see how we're going to get out of here. There we go. I have a feeling this is a trap. I have a feeling this is a trap. Nope, looks good. Look at all that wheat. Holy cow. And lots and lots of arrows. Redstone, redstone torch. More um, we, um, leather. And a lot of wheat. Oh boy, I guess we'll bring some of that wheat. We don't need all these shields. Got so much junk already. All right, let's just remember where this is. Again, I'm standing on this ice. I'm getting cold. We might have to come back for that one. We might have to come back. I'm going to put a torch down just to lead me to that point. So, yeah, here, here, this is weird. This might lead to some kind of a shelter. I have a feeling there's going to be a shelter eventually. So before we make one, here we go. Yes, we've got the signs. This is the intersection 01. Now this brings back memories. Let's stand on the glowstone so we're not freezing to death here. Yeah, so this is a uh, standard feature in Vex Super Hostile Maps. You have an intersection and there's usually a either a shelter you can use as your base of operations or at least an open area to make your own, which is why I've been holding off. But let's take a look. So there's the glacial rift. We came from that. There's a boreal valley that way. Geothermal plant sounds wonderful and warm. And the melting dead over there. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to go. Let's go toward the geothermal plant. Duh. <laughs> uh, oh, is that wood? I don't know if that's part of our ship or something completely different. How's our temperature? 184. Holding steady. I didn't happen to notice when we started taking damage at something I should look at. It was at least 600, like minus 600, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got some kind of stone brick up here. Fantastic. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking real good. Oh, look at all that ice. There's a platform. Oh, that could be the capture the, uh, ca complete the monument, monument, monument. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, in Vex Super Hostile, you usually have to collect wool. Bits of wool scattered throughout the map, especially at, like, those different separate areas, and, uh, complete a monument, which my guess is that's what that is over there, and you have to collect, I think it was 16, 16 colors of wool, and then, uh, then you finish, and then you're done, so we'll go check that out in a moment, oh, here we go, yes, it's a door, now hold on, stand back, what's that there for, some bedrock, um, I'm gonna open this up, let me shield up, oh, it's pink, <gasps> pink carpet, it's the fun path. This could be a fun path. The fun path, for those of you that don't know, have not seen my earlier Vex Super Hostile maps, is the obvious path Vex wants us to take that um, is going to be filled with traps and monsters and other fun stuff. I call it fun. A big capital F-U-N. <laughs> because a lot of people try to go around those fun paths. Like they might drill into a wall and get around it. So they can avoid all the uh, all the horrific stuff along the way. But I personally like taking the fun path. That's why I named it the fun path. Because it is so fun. Anywho, that's beside the point. But we have this nice carpeting. Is it warm on the carpeting? I think it's warm in here. 148 right now. Negative 148. Yeah, okay, good. We are, it is, uh, temperatures are rising. We're, we're stable inside here. Fantastic. All right, well, we're out of the out of the woods, so to speak. So let's read some signs. Heading out, Tally's awesome checklist. One, warm clothing. Two, backup clothing. Three, extra food. Four, tools. Five, weapons. Six, torch furnace. 
Seven, you can do it. And eight, make mom proud. <laughs> so, Tally. Okay, so apparently someone named Tally had a checklist here to remind him or her or they what to bring when they go outside um, into the wilds. So I'm wondering if Tally was a former survivor that crashed here as well. Oh, look at that monument. That looks so cool. Yeah, we'll go check that out. And then she, I'm going to call her she, um, built this place, right? That's my guess. There's a farm here. Oh, look at that. We got a farm. It's very dark in here. I might brighten it up. Although, I don't think monsters are spawning in here. It doesn't seem like it, does it? So, I'm wondering if um, spawns have been turned off inside certain areas. And maybe they're just, like, more thematic or something. Oh, the, the water trough here um, is all frozen up. And everything's dead. It's all bushes. Actually, it's left sticks is what it is. Use everything, right? Waste not, want not. Let's grab all those sticks. We'll get a farm going here soon. We can make some seeds. Um, and then get a farm going. We don't need to do that right now. I think we've got plenty of food for the moment. And I want to explore anyway. I love that they chose a pink carpet. The pink sheep clan. Baby is alive and well in this neck of the woods. Wherever the, this, this neck of the woods is. <laughs> I didn't mean to smash that. Let's put that back. Let me back my extra shield. Oh, look at this. Looks like an apartment of some kind. We got a jack-o'-lantern and a pink table. You look nice today, Tally. Thanks for eating with me. Oh, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting the vibe that Tally was lost here. A survivor, cast away, and this is her uh, Wilson <laughs> to keep her company, right? She's got some flowers. I'm not sure where she got the flowers down here. Maybe in her ship. Holy smokes! Look at this storage room. This is insane. Enchantment table. Oh, look at this. We have an ender chest and a regular chest with lapis. Fantastic. This is great. Thank you, Vex, for uh, providing all this so we don't have to go through it. Because it just takes a ton of time to get settled on these maps sometimes, so this is perfect. Now, uh, my guess is these are all empty. Yeah, good, we can use these for storage. Oh, look at that, we got um, we got a brewing stand, we have anvils here, let's throw another anvil down, we have an extra crafting tables. So this is looking good. Oh, here we go, armor, ooh, ah, nothing. It's empty. Oh, this one's got some leather in it. Um, weapons. Okay, looks like the bottom ones might have stuff in them. So the armor down here. We got some stone weapons and some arrows. Okay. Tools. We got a bunch of tools. <laughs> we have a clock and a new compass. We have organics, vines, spruce leaves, and seeds. All right. And building materials. Lots of building materials. Oh, nice. We've got a another furnace here. I'm going to bring all the furnaces and rail and blocks. Holy cow, that's a lot of blocks, all right. Okay, well, we're not gonna mess with the blocks right now, no big deal, and we have a uh, furnace. Holy cow, look at all the charcoal in here. Charcoal for days and days and days. That's fantastic, look at this. <laughs> okay, well, at least we're gonna have plenty of, uh, of fuel while we're here. I'm gonna grab 64 charcoal, in fact. And um, we're going to have enough torches and fuel to explore. Reminder for dits. Furnaces get hot. Don't burn yourself again. I wonder if you can burn up if you're, if you're too close to a furnace for too long. Not burn up, but maybe um, dehydrate. Look at all the charcoal here. It's insane. Good, 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 good. Let's put the shield out. I don't think we're going to need it indoors. Tally's room. Okay, so this is... Um, this is obviously like the workroom kitchen. Oh, this is the kitchen. Okay, right, right, right. You deserve love. I didn't see that sign there. And we got some old rotten food. So I guess we'll put our food in here. In fact, why don't we just cook that mutton right now? And yeah, we have a bunch of fish. Just get it going. We'll cook up the fish. Maybe we want to hang on to some fish in case there's a cat here. And we want to, um, and we want to, uh, tame it. <laughs> we could use some company. Ooh. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that noise? That was interesting. We got some hoppers back here. Tons and tons of fuel for the furnaces. That's great. All right. 
Let's keep looking. Let's go over here to the... This is the room, right? A bedroom? Tally's room. Notes. Oh, here we go. Tally Ortega. To those who find this, day one, day four, seven, all the way up to day 20. So, yeah, so Tally, this Tally person was here for a while, at least 20 days. You'll get your mastery degree. You got this. Interesting. So I wonder if um, Tally was here for a test of some kind. Do your best today. Yeah, this could be a test. Oh, there's the geothermal plant down there. Lava. I gotcha. That's where the heat's coming from. That's why it's so toasty warm in here. Look at that. We're at 8 degrees. This is great. Tally's even got a pink bed. <laughs> Can we sleep in it? It's not nighttime right now. Pink sheep clan, baby. Represent dawn dusk reminder summon your arrows and potion if you miss your daily summoning routine it's five points off summon your arrows and potions you were some kind of a summoner or mage or something it had, she had the ability to um to summon things i guess i don't know maybe uh when we start reading those books we'll learn more about tally the mad what's that say magitech harvester oh oh this goes down yeah, look at that. So that's where we're getting our heat from. Maintenance access. Danger, yeah. We don't want to fall into that. We're dying of fire, as Vex, Vex likes. You can do it! I love these little notes Tally left for herself. Little positive thinking and positive energy notes. Na Nazlu loves you and is... Oh, wait. Oh, that says Wilson! <laughs> Wilson backwards! Castaway! Wilson! That must be the jack-o'-lantern. His name is Wilson. Actually, it's Nazlu. Loves you and is rooting for you. <laughs> Nazlu. There he is. Hey, Naz. Call him Naz for short. In the farm. Okay. That looks good. Let's go back to the bedroom here, and we're going to read. I think we'll just read the very first. Is it nighttime yet? Because I'd love to set my spawn point. Uh, let's read the very first note. It's going to be this one. and Maybe day one. Right. To those that find this, hi there. In keeping with best practices of the Adventures Code, I am leaving a copy of my notes here for any to read. My name is Talia Ortega, but you can just call me Tally. I leave this camp to the to the next adventurer who finds it. Some of the food should still be good, although by now I throw out the meat. It feels a bit strange thinking someone might read all of my journals, but if you're here, you're either taking the test or you're a lost soul in trouble. Okay, so. Um, she was here on some kind of a test, a survival test, perhaps. And I guess we'll find out if she made it or not when we read her journals. Um, we are obviously of the lost soul variety in trouble. Right. Well, welcome to the only spot you can keep warm in this frozen wasteland. The generator is locked up. The only use for the arcane nexus it houses is a small residual energy it leaks. Small being relative, it is still enough energy to warm a large area. Anyway, I am about to activate my rune of recall and head back to Valgard. So I guess you did make it back. I did it. I studied the generator. I summoned all my class items every dawn and dusk. And most importantly, I survived. Yayifications! I don't know if they will use this site again for a test, but if they do and you come here, look me up. Later. Look me up later. <laughs> Smiley. We could, uh, we could be like frozen icebox survivor besties. All right. I'm out. Tally. Oh man, she is full of energy, that girl. Okay, let's put that one away. That was very nice. And here's day one. I think we're going to hang on to day one. We'll read that in the next episode. We'll start off with day one and then um, we might even just follow her footsteps. I'm, I'm curious if she did this methodically. And if she did, I might follow along with her and do what she did. I think that might be pretty cool. And maybe we'll find some hints and tips about the locations and how to survive them in her notes. Hold on. I'm going to sleep. Ah, sweet dreams. So we got our sweet dreams here in uh, isolation. But I, I want to go take a look at the monument before you guys go. Because this is kind of a central theme to the whole um, the whole thing here. This map, the ho super hostile maps. So we do have to collect something. It's usually wool. I don't know what we need to collect on isolation. Hopefully there's some kind of indication about that. It's already getting cold out here. Oh, look at this. Use boxes of parts to build an airship? 
<gasps> we build an airship from scratch? Multiplayer. Always have the same player turn in part. We don't have to worry about that. So we're going to build a spaceship. Oh, I can't even get in there. Ah, I felt that uh, before I hit. <laughs> All right. So we're going to build a spaceship and fly out of here. No way. So we just have to find the parts. Parts. Uh, boxes of parts to build the airship. All right. Well, we'll do that. Okay. So I'm going to head back up and get organized. I got some farming to do. And uh, inventory management and all, all that fun stuff that I'll do off camera. And then in the next episode, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So I already cleared up all the sticks and I did get some, well, I got some carrots here. I gotta go get a hoe. All right, so I'll do all, all that stuff off camera and we shall return in the next episode. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Where's my hoe at? And there you are. I knew we had a hoe around here somewhere. All right, we'll see you all soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.